Hello, I'm Waffle Wolf, and I make cinematics. I often do cinematic memes on TikTok, and a lot of people ask me how I do it. You can check out my TikTok, there's an image on screen. Um, and I think in this video, I'm gonna go over the basics of how you can make a cinematic. In later videos, I'll go over the advanced, such as step of field, and all the other complex features. For now, let's go into the basics. I'll be using a private server, so if you're using something like a build server, such as Intoxicated, I'll leave a video tutorial down below on how to make cinematics on servers like that, so that you can navigate a server like that efficiently. Because I don't cover everything in this video and might not in every single video coming forward, I have a Discord server, so if you have any questions, you're welcome to join that, along with the ability to look at some frequently asked questions. So if you need any help, I encourage you to join it and also show me what you make. Finally, I'm not a professional. I just enjoy making cinematics and I'm teaching you how I make them. I suck at verbal explanations, so if you have a comment, please leave it down below and I'll answer it to the best of my ability. All right, once you're in your server, whatever you're using, um, we want to go build a set now. We want to actually have somewhere to act out a cinematic. If you're just doing something like you're having your character run into Oxum's gas station or something, uh, you don't need to do any of that. And you could skip past this video and I'll put timestamps in the description for everything you could skip to. Um, but for building your set, you find anywhere you want to build and you just set up your building that includes your base. Maybe you got like some cool role play hut, you know, whatever you, the heck you want to build, you know. All right, so I think, I think I'm going to build right here. I'm going to build myself a little cozy one by two. Just nested in this little spot here all right so the next thing you want to do is you want to build the attire for your set you want to have all your character you want to have them all set up with the gear that you want them to use in the video so i think for me i'm just gonna get myself pretty pretty basic hazmat i want them to have maybe uh come on let's go let's go let's give him a crossbow i think give him a crossbow just load it with an arrow um that's gonna be a very basic set i think i want my character to just go farm a node or two um he's a ice pick here or, oh, I think we'll grab ourselves a salvage ice pick. I like that. We just want our character to maybe farm these two stone nodes, run down, and hop into our base. It's a very basic cinematic set, but for this video, I'm going to go with it. Um, maybe you could use this as a context scene in your video where you want your character, or you're going to be like doing a voiceover or something, you just want some background filler content, you know? Something very basic, but you can use this for whatever you want, you know? All right, so once we're up where we all to record, so I think I'm going to record here. I think I like my character. You can see everything on the back. You can see I've got my crossbow i've got my ice pick i think that's the set that i want to use we're going to press f1 in our console here we're going to want to type in demo dot record and we're going to name it so i think i want to do um let's just give it this is name it tutorial one because this is a tutorial you can name it whatever you want um but this is good to know just so that you can find it later once you press enter it starts recording we've got a second here you got to make sure that your convar is set so on intoxicated servers you can change the time and whatnot you want to make sure this is set um however sometimes you could type in admin admin time or admin fog or anything to change it in your cinematic but i'm liking this so i think i'm gonna rock with this and now you can act out your cinematic all right once you've finished you can go into your phone console once again and type in demo.stop from there you're you don't even need the server anymore you can disconnect you're all done so we can just go disconnect once you've recorded your set and you're back in the main menu, you want to figure out how to load your cinematic. Now there is this option right here and you can click on it and it's going to give you a list of everything. As you can see, these are all the ones that I've been using recently. If it doesn't show up at the bottom here, you can click the refresh icon. But for me, I see mine is tutorial one right here, March 20th, and it's a minute and eight seconds. So you can click on this and click play. If that is not showing up and this icon may not even be here, you can go into your F1 console and type in play tutorial one, or whatever you have it named and you can just press enter all right so we're loading it and we're almost done and we have one command we want to put in pretty much immediately we press f1 and type in time scale zero this stops the cinematic and allows us to position everything now before we get into our framing we're going to press escape and go to our options we want to make sure that all our graphics are turned up to max i'm keeping depth of field off for this video just because it's a little more complex if you know how to use it or you have it set to auto you can always have it on but for this video i keep it turned off in the future i may make a video on how to use depth of field properly um, if you're doing a shot with a mini copter, sometimes it won't show up and that's often because you have this setting turned on. I figured turning it off gets rid of that problem and you will, the mini will render it. And so if it's not rendering, turn this off um, and you're good to go. If you're doing any shots that include explosions and breaking of walls, turn max gibbs up to max. And from there, you're pretty good to go. So you can press F1 and type in debug camera. This allows you to go in this mode where you can go around your character and now you're in free cam. So you can position your everything, but it, it's quite disgusting. It's linear, zooming doesn't feel nice. You know, it's a little fast and it just doesn't seem nice. I don't want to pan around my character like this and follow him like this, right? So we're going to fix that. All the commands I use, you can see as I'll type in here. Cam lerp. This slows the camera movement and makes it smoother. 
the lower the value, the smoother it is. So I use 0 0.005. Cam okay, zoom lerp does the same thing, but for your zoom, I use 0 0.05. Cam speed, I use 0 0.3. And it just creates like a nice pan. You can hold space bar to slow down. You can hold shift to go faster. All right, so my demo was just talking like way too fast during this, but I was talking about setting a bind for your time scale. Uh, I have it on screen here in the console, but when I press seven, it'll stop. When I press eight, my recording will go. Um, so I have some commands here on screen of how you can set that. And this makes everything super easy when you're doing your recording. So I use seven and eight. So I have seven to time scale zero, which stops my recording and eight to start it. So you set two different keys to do two different binds. Um, and it just makes everything a lot easier to use. You can also set them to like 0 0.5. Um, so you have slower speeds like this, this is 0 0.1. Um, it's just nice. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna type in demo.skip negative two. That just sets it back to where he was. Um, and I wanna position myself. I want a lower shot of him farming the node and then a pan over like this down to the other node. And maybe I'll move down a bit. Um, I won't go that fast, but I just wanna pan down a bit um, to him farming that and then over towards the base. Make sure you have OBS or some recording software open because we're gonna need to record a cinematic. You can record even the rough parts because we're gonna put it in editing software after and clip it down. I've just sped it up, but this is me panning through and recording my one cinematic for the test here. It's a very simple process. As long as you're recording and you've got your cinematic playing, you're pretty much good to go and you can stop it when you're done. I'm pressing R and that sets my camera back to normal. If you hold control, it makes a rotate. So going down that hill, I had a very slight left rotate and it made it look a little smoother going down. Um, you can do whatever you want. I recommend zooming in a bit and giving it a slight rotate. You can even rotate as you move. Um, and it just creates something a little smoother. And I color grade everything in Premiere Pro, so everything gets color graded so it looks a lot smoother. Because um, for me on my monitor, I have um, higher contrast settings and whatnot. So my vibrance is really high and everything looks super colorful. Whereas in the recording, you're seeing the store skin looks a lot more bland um, than I see it. On closing notes, if you have any subjects you need a uh, tutorial on, just let me know in the comments section. That includes cinematic tutorials or even editing tutorials. I only have Premiere Pro. However, if you use that too, I'm happy to make videos on that. Just let me know what you need help with. You're always welcome to join my Discord and ask for help, and I'm always there to answer questions. Once you've played through your recording and clipped it, you're done. Everything is finished, and you can go into your editing software and refine your recording. Hopefully this video answers all your questions, but if you have any more, just leave them in the comments. Uh, thank you for watching and uh, have a great day.